here, and hello and welcome to part number 27 of my Let's Play of Planet Zoo. Alright you guys, here's me right now, and I just made a glorious shelter called All Hail the Llama Gods that you all absolutely must download. <coughs> what? Huh? Anyway, but on that note, let's go ahead and go into our franchise zoo. Ooh! I got more CC. I'm cool with that. Let us go ahead and resume with Raylunil's safari. But yeah, I made a shelter and I named it All Hail the Llama Gods because it's meant for llamas. So yeah, I did that. I'm cool. I'm super, super cool. That's why you all follow me. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, though, in this particular part, I plan on building the mandrill habitat. And how exactly we're going to do that, and where exactly we're going to do that, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to figure that out in a moment, once it's actually loaded and in the game. Oh my goodness. You can get ideas on how to improve your zoo by reading guest thoughts. Okay. That's a little obvious, but that's okay. I like obvious things sometimes. Let me pause. There we go. What's happening? Lion Landing is too dirty. I have a hungry fl flamingo baby. I think I've already said hello to everyone I can, but let's see if it reset and is going to let me do it again. Dang it, it didn't reset and let me do it again. Oh well, I tried. I tried, everybody. I tried. Now, let's see what the heck is going on here. I think it was showing me... Yeah, it was showing me the um, lions and how there's like a million male lions here. Because I'm trying to sell one of my male lions, if you guys recall. And the poor guy is still here, as far as I know. Let's check up on him. Llama gods! <clears throat> what? And yeah, he's still here. Dang, nabbit! I don't understand why he's still here. Nobody wants him. No one wants my almost perfect white lion. How sad and heartbreaking. Oh dear. Well, that's okay. We'll love him anyway. Oh yeah, off camera I decorated the zoo a little bit more, I remember now. And... because I did that like a couple days ago, actually. Let's see... And right now we have this area here to fill in. And I think this would be the perfect spot for our mandrills. So let's go ahead and make this a mandrill manor. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's pull this up to there. There we go. Let's move this out a little bit. There we go. That way it's not quite in the way as much. Oh, I just realized that by putting it right there where I did... Oops, wrong button. I blocked this. I don't want to block that. That's awesome. So let's put that right there. There we go. And while that means it's technically on the orangutan habitat, that's okay because it's showing them the way into the chimpanzee habitat. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to this. Go there. Let's go here. Go like that. And like a this. And a that. And a some of this. And a little bit of that. There we go. Perfect. Yes! Let's pull that back a bit. And put that there. 
Why will this not go back? Here we go. There. That's better. Okay, so let's see if we can actually delete that piece of path. There. Nice. That's actually exactly what I was hoping to do. And then let's open this up and go over here. And then let's go over this way if it'll let me. Oh, come on now, game. You know you want to. There, that worked. Okay. There we go. Mandrills are going to have a nice large habitat. Which is good because there's going to be a lot of them, eventually. To start out with, though, we're probably only going to have like three or four, I think? If I recall rightly. Which I absolutely might not be doing right now. I might be completely in left field for all I remember. <laughs> but you can have a bunch of them in a group. But apparently they're prone to splitting off into subgroups. So we need to make sure that there's enough for their subgroup, basically. Go over there, dang it. There we go. That is what I wanted. Excellent. Okay. Because yes, the South American animals are going to be going over there. But I'm thinking they'll be going more of this direction, to be honest. Let's see here. 20.6 feet, huh? Okay. Now let's add in the habitat gate. Let's put it back over here, because that makes a lot of sense. If it will let me. There, perfect. That is the best possible spot for it, so now the keepers can go directly from the hut into there. Mandrill Manor. Perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. It's currently 100% sand and has way too short of a uh, barrier, but that's okay. We'll fix this. Let's see how this works. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Okay, good. Let's get it to 20.6 like the other one was. There we go. Perfect. Right there. Right there, darlings. Right there is where we want it. These guys get to have some glass. Right there. And this area is a bit small for a viewing area, in my opinion. But we're going to put in one thing of glass there so that they can be seen from this direction. So that as guests are coming out of there, they can be like, ooh, mandrills. Because mandrills are awesome. They're a little crazy, especially if they happen to be named Rafiki and have to deal with lions all the time. <clears throat> but, you know. <laughs> okay, there we go, put that there. And this here. Teach people all about them. And then over here, we will put this down here. And then this one will go right here. And then this can go right there. And then this one is going to go right here. And then this educational speaker can go right there. This one can go there. And then this one will go here. Perfect. 
because we want our guest's education level to go all the way up to five stars, and we're so close. We're at like 4.8 or something like that right now. We're so freaking close, you guys. So we obviously got to get that going. Alrighty, let's save our progress so far. Okay. <gasps> Enough with the random singing. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Let's get this as big as it'll go. And then this spot here, I think this area should be their main um, indoor area. At least I'm thinking it might be. I don't know though. We'll figure that out in a little bit here. All I know is that I definitely want there to be grass in a lot of their habitat, as long as they're cool with that. Let's see here, there we go. I really hope somebody buys my lion. It's been a few days now, like real life days. So I'm kind of sad on their behalf, to be honest. Oops, I didn't mean to go into your habitat there, chimps, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> My bad! My bad! My bad, chumpa chimps! <clears throat> okay, let's go over here. At least it's running a bit smoother than it has been. Because I think there was a mini update or something like that. Either that or my game has been glitchy as heck lately. Because, for some reason, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my friends are on the um, globe again. But for quite a while, they weren't there for some reason. So, I don't know what the heck was going on there. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Okay. Let's get this short grass going in the to the habitat some more. There we go. Perfect. Now let's put this, this long grass. Because I don't know how much long grass they like. But I know that most of the primates actually prefer to have a bit more of the short grass and to have a lot of soil. Why that is, I have no idea, but that's a thing. For those who might not have known. <laughs> okay. So let's build them an indoor area here. Let's do that right now. Okay. First of all, I want it to be concrete. Because that's the main thing we've been doing <coughs> Excuse me, for the apes so far. And mandrills aren't actually apes, for those who know, but they're actually, um, they're a monkey, technically. Which is interesting, because they don't have long tails or anything like that. Instead, they have, um, little short tails, which I find kind of amusing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. There, this is gonna be their shelter area, guys. Let's put that up. Dang, Nabbit! Let's put this right there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there. I would have built it up so that it was in that corner over there. However, I decided to put it over here so that they'd have a little more privacy and because it's actually a lot easier to build it over here. <laughs> and the easier to build part is 99.9% .9 of why I decided to do that. <laughs> Hope you're all cool with that. Anyway... Uh, Ziki, you mind? Yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past few parts, but my Ziki has been just noping out on me. And I don't know why! 
I don't know what I ever did to deserve such a fate, but here we are. Okay, cool. Now we can add a roof. Let's put on the clay tiled roof. That looks nice. Come on, turn around. There we go. So this habitat is going to be a lot simpler than the ones that I did in the past couple parts for the uh, great apes. Because they need something more elaborate than the mandrills do, in my opinion. So, the mandrills are going to get a more simple habitat. Which I hope everybody is cool with. And if you're not, you can bring it up with the mandrill authorities. <laughs> oh gosh, anyway. Alrighty, where is the triangle I'm looking for? There it is. It's kind of like that droid you're looking for, but it's not the right droid. Sorry, I had to make that reference. It was just too ripe. It was too ripe to not make that reference. Okay, let's put this over here. And this can go here. Come on, turn around. There we go. Good job, thingamajig. There! That looks so nice, and so boring and simple, but that's okay. That is genuinely okay. Now, let's see. Props... General... Here we go. Oh, I don't want it to position snap. I do want it to align to surface, though. So let's see, where are the big ones? Large. Here we go. M. A. N. <laughs> we stick humans in here because it says man. Oh god! D. That's serious Planet of the Apes stuff right there. And drills. Where's the S? Here's the S. And then... Okay, let's see, that's just numbers. And then... That. Mandrills! Because you have to say it and sound excited. You have to sound very excited as you say the word MANDRILLS! At least you do now. That That is what I declare. <laughs> Dead nabbit! I did not mean to do that. Okay, what I did mean to do, however, was to go down here, grab the wheelbarrow, and put it in there. And then this log is cool and decorative, and they can walk around on that, I think. Can't they? Yeah, it's climbable. Cool. There, that almost looks like it's one full log now. Neato. I like it. 59 objects in that. Okay. It looks so boring out in the front, though, here. Uh, that's too tall. That's a bit short. But you know what? That's okay. Let's put this on the front here. Yeah, that looks good. That looks nice the way that is right there. Now let's see if I can put this up here too. Let's hang it from the top up there. Yeah, that looks nice. It looks nice. That's decorative. And then we don't need to decorate that side because the guests aren't going to see that side at all. In fact, the guests aren't really going to see that side very well either. They're just going to see this side, but that's okay. Now what we need is nature and habitat stuff. So, man, drill. Oh, <laughs> here's the shelter I built for llamas. 
Is it not glorious? It is the best thing. It is the best llama shelter because you get to worship your llama gods. <clears throat> Moving on. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find that absolutely hilarious. Okay. Okay, this climbing frame is meant for lemurs, apparently. But today, it's going to be for mandrills. And then, let's see over here. Let's put one right here, like that. And then put one over here. That goes up a little bit from the way it originally was. Here we go. Put those in. Because I want my mandrills to have plenty of climbing space and to be very happy. And over here, let's go ahead and put in this that I built a long time ago. That looks kind of strange in retrospect, but you know what? If they like it, they like it. <laughs> Long as my mandrills are a fan, that's all I care. I know it looks weird, but we don't need to judge it too harshly. Okay, cool. And then let's put this up here. I want to put this so that it's like on that, basically. There we go, cool. Alrighty. This has real simple climbing stuff over here, doesn't it? Okay. Where's the one labeled for lemurs? I think it's right here, yeah. Because I, I labeled mine lemurs shelter climbing frame. So they're gonna have technically two of this one because I don't feel like building climbing structures at the moment, but I do feel like putting in the mandrills. So there we go. Now they've got elaborate enough climbing stuff that they should be good. And they have plenty of ground space as well. Now one thing we are going to need to do first though is this area here is full of grass and stuff. There's shelter. Let's put in plenty of bedding for them. Nice leaves. Because I can't remember if they sleep in trees or on the ground, but if they feel like sleeping on the ground in the game, then that's fine. They can do so right there. Okay, now what we need to do is add in a feeding platform or two. Let's put one right there. And let's put another one over here. There we go, perfect. And then let's put in a bobbin drum and a box and a block of frozen fruit will go right there and just a normal ice block will go there let's see forage box enrichment they're gonna love this let's put it over here that's usually their favorite food source right there and then grab ball and I put in a fruit spike thingy and a mirror mobile will go over here, and if anyone heard me sniffle just now, don't worry, I do not have the virus that's going around the planet right now. No, 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 no. Instead, I just have allergies. So, don't panic. I'm okay, I promise. <laughs> I promise I'm okay! Alright, cool. Put that in there. And then this feeder thingy will go here. And then they want a nice sprinkler, okay, I can put one right there for them, among the grass. And then this suspended forager can go right there. And then they're going to need water on both ends of the habitat, so on this end they're going to get one right here, if it'll let me put it in. Come on, let me put it in! Why does it say it's obstructed? I don't understand. I don't get it! Okay, fine, we'll go there. And then this one over here will go right here. Like right there. Like a dot. Perfect. Okay. 
cool, 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 cool. Okay, now we need to put in some nature stuff. So, filters, continent, Africa, and now the biome is tropical. And then over here by the climbing structures, I'm going to be putting in the palm trees exclusively. And let's see, I don't want to put anything directly right there. I don't want to risk them possibly escaping or anything like that. So all these climbable things need to be very carefully figured out so that they can't just jump from there to there and then run away. Um. Okay, this is not climbable, so I can put this one up here in the front. That's fine. I just find it very interesting how there's so many different things that are climbable and then some things that absolutely look like they should be climbable are not. And it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Who made that decision? I don't understand it, but that's okay. I, I, I can agree with it. Sort of. I'll be confused by it, but I'll, I'll go with it. Okay, let's put in these banana palms. Gosh. Okay, let's put in one of these back here. Because these are not climbable, but they fill in a lot of space and make it look a lot more tropical to me. I have pretty recently discovered the awesomeness that is those trees, the custard apple trees, so... Yeah. Okay, these are climbable, so I need to be very careful with how close I put it to things. I feel like I probably couldn't put it that close in real life. But once we get a mandrill in here, we'll be able to test and see just how close it is. Okay, they can't climb this somehow, which is confusing. And somehow they can't climb this either. But I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to put it right there, because it looks really nice there. And now the terramund trees. These are beautiful and I love them. I put them all over the friggin' place. I have so many of these in my zoo. So many of these. Here we go. Whoopsies, I did not mean to do that. And I got rid of the Africa thing, no! Oh well, I guess that means I can put in the rocks now? <laughs> okay. Fine game, I see what you want me to do. You want me to rock it? Heh, 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 oh. Okay. Let's put in some nice little rocks around here and some bigger rocks. Just random rocks. Because it, no habitat is complete without a couple rocks at least. Because it's seriously weird if you've only got like one or two rocks, I think. And I do that all the time, so I would know. <laughs> uh, for those who were about to bring that up and be like, uh, Rayladil, you do realize you only put in a few rocks most of the time, right? <laughs> and I'm about to be like, yes, yes, I know that. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I appreciate being told things I already know. Okay, we decorated around that rock. Let's decorate around the other rocks if I can find them. This habitat doesn't look enough, look lush enough up the front here, but that's okay. Because it's not supposed to be as lush up in the front here because we need to be able to see the, um, stuff that's going on. I just put that in real quick. And I'm gonna put in some of these. And this. Hopefully that won't block them from being able to use their feeder. It shouldn't. I don't see why it would. But just in case, let me move it a bit over this way. There we go. Now they can definitely reach it for sure. 
But yeah, I love the way it says mandrills and you can kind of see it through the palm trees there. I think it looks very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, is that lush enough? Do we really need anything around those rocks over here? There's already stuff by most of the rocks. I think one thing I am going to do though... No, I'm not going to put in one of those. That would look a little bit ridiculous in this habitat. Okay, let's put that down. And one of these. And some of this. And a bit of that. See, it looks kind of artificial if you completely surround the rocks. But if you do it just a little bit, it looks good. There! I like this. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I can deal with that. Alright. That's what we've got. So, let's put in our mandrills now. Let's find them. Let's figure out where the heck they are. Yeah, I don't need any more lions right now. Thank you, though. I have plenty of lions. Let's set it to mandrills and see if I can find another female mandrill. Preferably one who's not super expensive. Hey! A female mandrill! Yay! I got her! Cool. Okay, I forgot to take the lions off this list, but that's okay. <laughs> Oops. Oh wow, we have another one! Snatch! Oh, I already adopted her. That's very awkward. Why is she still on there if it says I already adopted her? That's confusing as heck. Oh well. Where is she? Llamas! Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got five mandrills. We're great. We're absolutely great on mandrills. Let me double check to make sure that five is a good number. Yeah, five is the smallest number that you should have. Okay, good. So our mandrills will be happy! Excellent. Let's just sort it by mandrills so I don't have to keep searching for everything every time. Filter. There we go. Okay, great. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Okay, where can I put you? Yeah, I want to put you in Mandrill Manor, obviously, but where's the quarantine? There's the quarantine. Go into quarantine. There you go. And then you have no immunity! Oh goody, I hope you don't breed much. <laughs> Lol. That's unfortunate. Okay, how's our male? Ooh. He's very fertile, but other than that, he's kinda iffy. But that's okay, we will love him! And we will rename him Rafiki. <laughs> nah, I don't know about renaming him Rafiki. Okay, this one's pretty good. Mandrill Manor. Okay, and then you get to go there. Perfect. And what's interesting about mandrills, from what I read in the Zoopedia, is that they actually have a matriarchal society, and the females will pick a male to live with them. So hopefully my females like the male I picked for them. Because <gasps> if they don't, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> but since this is a game, they should be good. Oh no, habitat cleanliness is a disease risk for the Indian peafowl and the lion landing habitats. Oh no. Ooh, some of my peafowl are maturing. And let's see... Mia, you had a baby? I think I dealt with that off camera, didn't I? Yeah, there's only two of you right now, so yeah, we're fine. Okay. And Chang Chang is about to make more Chang Chang babies. Chang Chang the Chinese pangolin. Okay, let's unpause so that the mandrills can go through quarantine. Oh no. My flamingos are getting hungry. Not good. 
Not friggin' good. Let's see. Oh, before I forget, let's make sure that we add the mandrills habitat to the work zone for the great apes and mandrills. Because obviously they're going to need to be in that. And all these new buildings as well. Fola is about to have offspring. Follow the springbok. Very nice. Okay, yeah, the great apes and mandrills are kind of taking over this area. And we still need to put in the uh, gorillas. So where the heck should I put the gorillas? Oh god, what have I done? I have not thought this through properly! That's what I've done. Uh, I want to put them over here, but how the heck are the guests going to get there? <laughs> because over here is all staff path. Oh no, Maya! Are you okay? Oh, it's glitching again. The keeper can't get to her. Well then, I'll have to fix it. Call the keeper. There we go. Good, 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 good. Now let's make it so that the guests can get back up here. Oh, let's not do it that way though. What the heck? I don't understand what happened, but whatever. We'll just leave it that way and move along. Let's see if I have any animals in the exhibit trading. I don't remember if I do or not. Let's see. Oh my goodness! I have so many creatures in here. I have two perfect western diamondback rattlesnakes ready to go for when, a, when mine pass away. Let's see, let's get rid of all of these extra spiders. Goodbye. Goodbye, extra spiders. Have fun in your new homes. Okay, now, what is this? Wants me to add another exhibit, or habitat species, rather, and breed an exhibit animal and release an orang to the wild. An orangutan. I just heard a yip, or a bark. Oh no! No, don't inbreed with your own father, you groter. No, 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 no. Don't do that. It's a trap. I promise it's a trap. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay, you matured. Good. Let's put you on contraceptives for the moment. Why are multiple animals hungry? Everything was fine in the last part. Why is it all going downhill now? What has happened? What have I done? Oh no. Mother. <gasps> okay. Uh, are you done in quarantine yet? Multiple animals are hungry at the flamingos. It would be the flamingos. Call the keeper. Hurry up, Keeper. Okay, good. Keeper is hurrying. Keeper is running with the food! That is what I like to see. Jesus! Sorry. There are 58 of them in here! Um... Mother! <gasps> Hufti Hufto! Or whatever she just said. That's awesome. They're coming running! They are running! Why does it not say that... What is going on here? Let me check and see if my settings for my sandbox zoo were, it were being set for this, too. No. Okay, that's weird. Then why did it say that I don't have an inspection coming anytime soon? That's so strange. Who lives in Exhibit 9? Oh! 
Okay, we have our first mandrill passing quarantine. Seems like there's too many layman's poison frogs for one habitat, huh? Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, there just might be. <laughs> Go to the trade center. Okay, you're four years old, I'll leave you here. You are 1.6 years old, you're f and you're pretty good. You're young, so you can leave. Eduardo, you can leave. I have no idea who's related to who. Enrique, you can go. Esmeralda, you can go. Eh. Let's see. Juanita, you can stay because you're awesome. Evita, you get to stay too. Let's see. Luis, you get to stay. Marco, you get to stay. Let's see. If you're not... Yeah, if you're not one of the really good ones, then you get to leave, because I have a bunch of frogs. Carlos is okay. Carlos makes the cut. Does Enrique? Enrique makes the cut. Good. And Evita and Juanita did, and Luis. Yeah, Luis did. And Marco. Yeah, Marco makes the cut. Carlos, I'm afraid you no longer make the cut because I have so many golden ones now. Let's see, we need to get rid of two females. Uh, Teresa? Yeah, you can go. And... Rosemaria? Rosa Maria? Yeah, you can go. Okay, is that few enough frogs now? Okay, this... Still too many. <sighs> Crying out loud, I HATE THIS GLITCH! I hope they fix this soon because it drives me bonkers. Ugh. I hate this freaking glitch. It is the literal worst. Ugh. Okay, why won't it connect? There we go. Connect like there. That'll do. Okay. So there's still too many of them in there. Alright, I'll get rid of two more then. Okay, you're good, Enrique. You get to stay. Evita, you get to leave. Goodbye. So let's get rid of one more male. Ricardo? Yeah, you get to go. Okay. Layman's poison frogs. Okay, are they happy? Yay, their social welfare is good now. Excellent. Okay, that's good. And Adamama, Adama, whatever her name is, just passed quarantine, so she can go into the mandrel habitat and we can use her to check things. Whereas everyone else is still in quarantine for now. Oh, the inspector just arrived, that would be why. Uh-oh, let's see what they're going to inspect. The Komodos, the Nile Monitors, the Black Bears, the Orangs, and the Giant Tortoises. The Aldebar Giant Tortoises. Okay. Oh good. The, was that the male who just passed quarantine? No, one of the other females did. Okay. I'm gonna wait until they've all passed quarantine and then just put them all in at once. That way it'll just be a little easier on me. Oh good, now we just need the mail to pass, and then I will pause the game very briefly, and then put them all in. 
Actually, what's the point of pausing? Never mind. <laughs> okay, good. They've all passed quarantine. They can all go to Mandrill Manor. Whoop whoop. Mandrill Manor. Okay, I really hope the keepers are taking care of the cleanliness situation. Because if they're not, they're gonna get fired. I declare it. Oh no, we have a sick animal. That's not good. Who's sick? Oh, a bunch of peafowl are sick. Not again. No! So this is going to be great. The guests are going to be able to watch mandrills while they eat their food and hang out here and drink their drinks and stuff. So that's awesome. Sweet, one of our lemurs just gave birth. Let's see, where are the caretakers? There they are, they're coming! They're on the way! Come on. I want my mandrills! I want my mandrills! Ooh, Liang is about to have um, some offspring, our bear, because I actually had all three of the bear cubs age up off camera and I sold them on the trade center. So they have new homes now, guys. Let's see, this is going to talk about deforestation. And this one over here is going to talk about uh, population fragmentation. Ooh. Did we just get a reward for something? We did, for breeding and exhibit species. Cool. Thank you. Why is it being so slow now? I don't know. It always does this when I film and only when I film. <laughs> Oh well. Cool, we learned more about our poison froggies and the green iguana. Yes! Here come the mandrills! Here come the little mandrills! Hi, honey! I know, you don't have enough social yet. Yay, more rewards! More research has been completed, too. Why are multiple animals stressed? Oh god, what is happening? Ah! Cue the panic! Okay, let's see. Where are the mandrills on this list? They should be here somewhere. Am I just missing them? There they are. Okay, you get to research them. Yay! Mandrills! There's mandrills everywhere in Mandrill Manor now! Perfect, the last mandrill is on the way. There's our male behind this lady here. Hopefully he has been chosen by these girls. Because if not, he's doomed. <laughs> no. In Planet Zoo, I don't think it would actually do that. But yeah, look at my beautiful mandrills! Yay, Mandrill Manor! Alright guys, so I will be seeing you all in the next one, where we are going to be putting in the gorillas. So yeah, I hope you're all looking forward to that. Have fun over on the end screen in the meanwhile. Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Ray Lunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 